Hi guys, this is Constance with Compose the Rabbit Hole. Um, I just wanted to show you a layout that I did with the new JT cartridge. This will be my 31st cartridge that I bought and it came in yesterday. So I did this layout and this layout was actually um, inspired by a layout that was done by a lady on YouTube whose name is spelled S-C-H-E-L-V-E-R-T-523. So, um, I just added a second page and kind of changed hers up just a little bit. Um, but this is the layout. Like I said, I always do mine in two pages. The first page looks like this. Um, it's not, it's not quite all the way glued down because I still haven't put my son's pictures in it. But, um, I intend on putting something else here. I'm just not sure what, but I, um, this picture right here is chillax and it's exactly like that on the page. Um, it's on page... It's on, well, these pages I don't think are numbered. Yes, sir. It's on page 26. It's at the very top. Let's see if my camera will zoom in there. Not really. Um, anyway, it's on page 26, and it looks just like that. And I just cut this uh, circle out off of wild card. It was a quotation. I just made it bigger with my new gypsy, which finally came in. And um, this, this right here is on page, let's see... I don't know. It's, yeah, it's in the JT cartridge. And um, it actually had a completely different background. I just changed it just like she did on hers. But I actually pop dotted um, this piece right here. It has an edge, which is matches the background back here. And I did that differently than she did. And then I did this in a different color. And I actually inked the edges and pop dotted up. Because I don't know what I'm going to put on that, on that yet. And I may want to remove it so the pop dots are really easy. Every single one of this paper has been printed off of the JT cartridge. Um, the neat thing about the Imagine is you can print a whole page now with the new update, and it allows you to actually um, lay the whole paper down and print everything. So this whole page was printed off as well as a whole page of orange and this whole page of dark, dark gray. So I printed those off, and I just cut from the Imagine off of those. And then this piece uh, was printed off that orange page, and I tore it and inked it with the Tim Holtz black soot, as well as the edges of this little thing right here. Now, on the second page, um, this is mine. My son's name is Lane, so I decided to put that on this little banner thing. This banner is also in the JT cartridge. Um, I think I cut this at three inches. This block is four inches, and this right here is cut up at nine. It was supposed to be nine inches nine and a half inches maybe and then I just cut this off of the leftover black sheet of paper that I had cut for this or the dark gray sheet of paper that I'd cut for this and I made the square for the other picture so that's what that looks like um, wasn't exactly sure how to use the imagine colorization thing um, so I did kind of base it off of that lady's YouTube video which her site she's actually got some pretty neat stuff um, you should check her out but this is uh, a little boy's layout, my son's layout, that I decided to do off of hers because I wasn't exactly sure how to use all that. So that's that, and um, I will try and put up more videos later. Thanks, guys.